These are the first political contest under the newly drawn districts in Virginia. That means changes are coming to the General Assembly. New at 6, Eugene Daniel caught up with a political expert about the impact on races here in Hampton Roads. This year's primaries featured nine seats in Hampton Roads, five for the House of Delegates and four for the State Senate, as changes are sure to come to the General Assembly in November. Redistricting here in the Commonwealth of Virginia is going to change the landscape of politics for years to come. Political analyst Dr. Eric Clayville says the impact of newly drawn districts is playing out in Tuesday's primary elections. Changes to the legislative map prompted a wave of political retirements and contested primaries, including the only battle of incumbents in the state Senate between Democrats Luis Lucas and Lionel Spruill. District 18 covers parts of Portsmouth and Chesapeake, and depending on the results, there could be a power shift in Richmond, with Lucas being the Senate's most senior member. With that being the case, uh, in the event that Senator Lucas does lose this election, then the power shift of the Senate shifts from this region to the northern region. Clayville expects low voter turnout consistent with past primaries. Because of that, he says results will greatly depend on candidates' abilities to work with partners to get people to the polls. In the primary election, I like to say that it's less about policy and more about people connection. He predicts that will also be true in Norfolk, which features a Senate race between two known candidates in the community, Delegate Angela Williams Graves and City Councilwoman Andrea McClellan. Norfolk has never had a majority, a minority Senate district uh, created in the history of uh, the Commonwealth. So right now, there's an opportunity uh, for the city of Norfolk not overlapping in the parts to have a state senator to represent them. On the Republican side, the race for the Senate 17th district, which includes Suffolk, Isle of Wight and parts of Portsmouth. Governor Glenn Youngkin is backing state delegate Emily Brewer over former NASCAR driver Hermie Sadler. After Tuesday's dust settles, all eyes will turn to November when all 140 seats in the General Assembly will be on the ballot. But make no mistake about it, we are going to see new faces. We're going to see new ideas. We're going to see new energy come in the General Assembly, and that's good for the Commonwealth as a whole. In Norfolk, Eugene Daniel, 13 News Now.